Good morning to you, 844, helping keep our beaches clean and safe with a unique eco-friendly bonfire experience. Yeah, I like this. Uh, joining us right now, we have Ray and Doach from Blue Light Bonfires and Gregor from Purpose First. Is it Gregor or Gregor? How do you like to say it? It's Gregor. It's like Gregor, Gregor without the Y. Uh, gentlemen, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Okay, let's get right to it. Uh, this all has to start with a love for the beach. Absolutely. Right? So tell us kind of how that led to doing the cleanups and the passion, where it all comes from. Yeah, um, so I was fortunate enough to join the Marine Corps. Um, I got to do some traveling in the Marine Corps with 3-1, 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines. Mm -hmm. And um, we got to travel around the world. And I saw pollution on many different beaches. Um, a lot of beaches around the world that have problems that are not their fault. So um, I felt responsible in a way. When I came back to America, I um, took it upon myself with some help, uh, other Purpose First team members, other small businesses, and uh, we started this group to clean up the trash. I mean, there's so much garbage on the ground. Good it goes you, straight in the ocean. I think I just saw a video um, this past week that kind of took my breath away. They did like the biggest ocean pick up, clean up, and then they dumped it, and I was like, oh my Ooh, word, massive. this is all in the ocean? Massive amounts. It's, it's, it's a lot. Is the problem you think getting better or, or worse, or? Yeah, I, yeah so we, we've actually seen the change in city municipal codes. Um, a lot of the stuff that we're seeing were the illegal use of beach bonfires. So a right. lot of wood remains, pallets, nails, microplastics, yeah. all that was being buried in our beaches. and. Uh, me and my brother started a company to help address those issues. Oh, good for you. Yeah. But since, it has been getting better. Since the recent ban about six months ago. Yeah. Uh, this is the open fire ban. Yeah, open this fire. is the open fire ban. So about me and my brother have kind of noticed that there is kind of, of a reduction of the amount of pollution that we're finding right. in regards to wood burning bonfires. Uh, however, we're still seeing them when we're out there. So it's a great initial step. Uh, but we're still kind of trying to build a little bit, uh, I would say more policies and municipal codes surrounding that as well. Sure. So, and so the question now, given what you guys are doing, which is great, can anybody get involved? Like if people watching now, it's like, you know, I want to get involved with this. What do I need to do? How do I do it? Of course, everyone's involved. Yeah. Um, everyone's invited. Um, we have something for everyone. We'll have grabbers if folks come out that are in wheelchairs. We like to get families involved, children involved. Um, education starts with our next generations. So um, everyone's included. Yeah. One of our goals is to have um, some of our city officials Mary Todd Gloria, sure. anyone else that wants to participate, we'd love to see them out there. That's awesome. I remember like the bonfires when I was a teenager. There was always so much fun to go sit by, by, by the beach. But how, what are you doing? What is Blue Light Bonfires and how is it different than the bonfires that... Excellent question. So what we did, we were the first company to start using propane fuel bonfires, which is much cleaner, safer, right. and we actually use special tools to sift out the sand and remove contaminants, as you can see there, oh, cool. from our uh, from our beaches. Once Wait, we, this is so cool. Yeah, once we clean out the contaminants, we create these uh, very luxurious seating sections for people to come and utilize. Um, you're able to sit there. The warm air keeps uh, you know people warm all night long, yeah. and the cold air out. So it's a beach cleanup every single time we step on the beach. Listen, man, I try to dig holes in the beach is hard. <laughs> I'm seeing this and I'm like, what? How you do what that? What kind of tools? You, what? Who in the what in the world? How long does it take to build? Because the, the, even the table in the middle, mm -hmm. that's all sand, right? Yeah, and then the seat, the the. Don't tell me you're busting out some broom and digging out the holes. <laughs> How do you do that? That's an excellent question. Um, I actually get that all the time. The most popular one that I get, I'll be digging all day, and people come up to me and they're like, "What are you? What are you doing? Uh, how long is this going to take you to build?" Oh, that's so romantic. Um, Sorry. No, no, no that's worries. That's just romantic. Um, our build times are typically depend on the packages that we offer. Right. Uh, however, our biggest one, I believe you just saw it. That was um, a lot of people on the video. That one takes about 15 hours <gasps> altogether. Yeah. So Dude, about 10 hours of digging, <laughs> oh my God. Two, two hours about decorating and kind of doing the final details, and about three hours of event time, and another two hours of cleaning and sifting. What tools are you using? Yeah, We're using a shovel, a sand rake, and a gardening Stop tool. Stop it. I, 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 wait a minute. I'm fascinated by this. So how do you, do you use the water? Do you use something special? Yeah, to, so. Look at me. I'm like, I'm making concrete stuff. It's a movie. Stuff. <laughs> so yeah, have video to game pack system. it down Exactly. When we dig into the three feet of sand that we kind of see the little walkway, that wet sand is used to make the custom design on the back end. 
Mm -hmm. so, I, can I ask how much around this costs? So mm -hmm. our packages, be, some of these packages begin as low as $300, uh, and then they go up for corporate events up to 1500 and we could customize anything larger than that as well. So um, it does take a while, but everything is done by hand. We remove contaminants, yeah. and we also data track everything. So we want transparency, not with just our customers, but with our city officials. If you go on our website, you have a pollution map. You could click, and it shows you all the details. How long have you guys been around doing this? Uh, about two years now. Just two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. we've been doing bonfires for a while, but we transitioned into the clean burning uh, yeah. portion of it uh, recently. Holy moly! And we also just use solar, so there's no added generators, there's no tiki torches, any of that stuff. We're all clean. When are y'all running for office? I'm voting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I like. I, he's got the suit. And hey, he's ready the to go now. I like it. You know what I mean? I was like, I was gonna point out. Wait, how come you two got hoodies? Uh, he's wearing a suit. He's Gregor wearing a suit. has a suit. <laughs> we got. You we know? got to get through that brand. That's <laughs> we got to get that brand it's all good. We love Thank it. You so much. Uh, okay. Let's get this information up in case you want to book and then help course. clean out the beaches. Thank you so uh, much. Go to fox5sandiego.com, click that scene on tab. You guys, great work. Uh, next time, put these dudes in a suit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. You don't, you don't have to do that. Guys, thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be right back.